I'm Rahul and in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through the basic simulation in Cadence. So if you have not done any simulation in Cadence, so don't worry, I'll let you know how to proceed with. So first of all, we'll invoke the tool that is Cadence Virtuoso. So for that I have a command. Uh, this command may be different for you. So then Virtuoso. So this will uh, take me to the Virtuoso. Uh, first is uh, related to library. Uh, I'll explain you what are libraries. And second window is this log. While simulating if you get any error, it will show you here. Or if you do any instance, so the information of that instance will also be, will also be shown here. So it's an important window. Another one is this. So this is our basically the working area. So so this library manager is basically the main uh, working area. So uh, you can see here all the libraries are there. So there are two kind of libraries. One is uh, you made by user like this. I have created this library, and another one is like. Uh, coming with the tool like analog lib and similarly if I have a specific need of any uh, spe uh, special technology node so I'll attach the library I'll add the library into it so I have added TSMC 65 nanometer and TSMC 180 nanometer okay so today I'll be discussing uh, an example with TSMC 65 nanometer Okay, so how to proceed with this? But before that, I would like to explain you one thing. Suppose this is my TSMC uh, 65 nanometer technology. Uh, it has the subcategory as well. So if I click on this, show categories. So this option will give me the categories. Okay, so like uh, if I want to use RF devices, so I can use it from here okay so it makes that thing easier anyway so let me start so this new library I have created just and in that I'll be making my schematic so for that I need to go to the file click on new and cell view in cell view I can give the name of my file so uh, let's say demo Okay, uh, in type we have selected schematic. Okay, so it's asking for license. I said yes, and then this black window will pop up. So, here on this black uh, window, you can design your schematic. Okay, so suppose I want to uh, instantiate one and MOS first. Okay. So how will I do this? Just key, just press the I button. That is one way. That is one and simpler way to do this. And uh, this window will show you on the screen. And you can see this window on the screen. So just go to the browse. And since I want to use 65 nanometer, just click on that. And I want MOS. So I clicked on this and I want N channel more so NCH and in that what I want I want symbol okay so just click on this so it will be here you can place it wherever you want so I have placed it here let's say okay so by pressing escape you can remove the extra symbol so you can zoom it out by using the middle click of your mouse like this so you can see it clearly so w and l are mentioned here i want to change this w by l okay so what i'll do i just press this from the mouse from the left click of mouse and then press the q button it will give me this big table so it has various parameter of related to this mouse and if i want to change I can change the things from here. So let's say I'm changing it to 
400 nanometer width and number of finger is one say multiplier I'm making it two okay so it will double the things now press ok so it has got change here after that uh, suppose I want to use one inverter in this particular example I want to design an amplifier or uh, let's say common source amplifier so again press I and now I want a resistor but the resistor I use from the analog lib so all the ideal components are there in analog lib so I can type resistor here and here is the symbol okay so I want to place it here okay so for removing this just press the escape to unselect the thing this is done next uh, I want to make a ground so press I and directly you can write GND here in the cell and D the ground symbol will come here it's as simple as that again press I I want a DC voltage source at the input so V DC okay so after writing here you need to uh, uh, click uh, near the symbol then only this symbol will come okay next thing is to connect these things using a wire so for that just press W and you can use the left click of your mouse and you can make these connection okay done what else I need to provide the VDD also so for VDD I copy the same source C and left click of the mouse and you can paste it here left click of the mouse so most of the task has been done using left click okay okay wire so this is done uh, now I need to provide the value suppose value of this resistor and the, these voltage source values the value of these voltage sources so let's press Q suppose I am providing 10k to this next I want to give uh, this VDD as 1.8 volt so DC voltage 1.8 the V will come automatically okay similarly here I want to provide it a 0 0.65 volt okay and you can see the MOS is a 4 terminal device we need to make this ground done after this what I will do I will do the check and save this second save is here press this so there is no error so if there is any error so this will show you here after pressing check and save and further by closing that uh, popped up window you can see the error particularly by pressing G anyway this is done so till now we have designed a schematic so like this you can design any of the schematic you can do copy paste you can instantiate various things you can rotate it by pressing the middle click of your mouse you can do wonders okay but next thing is to simulate it so for that I will be using first I will be uh, explaining you how to use ADE for simulation and next maybe I will explain you how to use AD Excel license yes so from here you can choose first of all you can choose your simulation what kind of simulation you want so go to analysis choose 
So here you can see there are a lot of simulations type like transient, DC, AC, noise, XF, XF will give you gain, uh, SP as parameter. So there are PSS, P1DB, will give you P1D. So there are so many simulations, so, so many types of analysis you can do using this. So first I will start with the DC one. So suppose I have chosen this DC. Okay. Same that DC operating point. I check the DC operating point and I'll press OK. So here you can see this has been added. And after that, I run this simply. So this you can see the running is done completely. Okay. So from here I can I can plot I can by using direct plot. But before that I want to show you a few things. So suppose I want to see the all DC operating point here. So what I'll do, I'll just go to the results then annotate it in DC operating point. So after doing this, all the DC points will come on my schematic itself. So press this. So see. You can see your VTH, VDS, VGS, everything. So for saturation, VDS should be greater than VGS minus VTH. So our VGS is 0.65 and VTH is 0.41. So the difference is 0.24 almost. So VDS is greater than. So this mouse is in saturation. All right, so you can see the power also here, and the current that flowing through is 148 micro. Very low current is flowing through. Okay, so it's just an example to demonstrate you various things about it. Uh, okay, so now suppose I want to make a plot. I want to draw a plot for this. I want to draw a plot uh, between ID and VGS. So as soon as I increase the ID, what will be my VGS? Okay. So for that, there are two things. I can do the direct plot. Another thing is I can uh, add the plot from here. Okay. In output, I can do the set. But here, if you see VGS, I have provided. I have fixed the VGS. But in reality, what I want, I want to sweep this VGS. And with respect to this VGS, I want to see the ID. Okay, so for that, uh, I can assume a parameter. So variable edit. So I assume x value. So what I'll do, so just click on this, press Q, and instead of this value, I just provided X, okay, and press OK, check and save, now open that ADE window, click on the variable, edit, copy from, variable will come, so X has come here. Okay. Initial value I am providing it, let's say 0.6. Okay. So this is the initial value I am providing, but it will get sweep as I provide it. So after that, analysis, choose DC, and now I will be sweeping the VGS for that. Design variables, X is there. Okay. From where to where? From 0 to VDD, 1.8. Okay. And sweep type, I want to keep it linear. Linear. And number of step, say 50 for now. So you should provide these steps sufficient. Suppose you are doing some frequency analysis and you are having a huge range of frequency, so you should provide it 5000 or so. 
anyway just click ok and now I want to add this plot so click on output to be plotted select on design so I want to plot the current in this so I clicked it two times from the left click of mouse and the circle has been made so that means the current is selected in this branch not the voltage okay so the circle indicates the current in this branch all right so you can see here this got added here and uh, i'll plot this and i'll from here i can do the append and replace but since i'm running it the first time so it doesn't matter so I'll run it and see the plot ID versus BGS. So what I'm doing, I'm plotting ID and I'm sweeping the BGS. Okay, so there I have already did. This, this thing you can see. See. Run. So then complete the plot gets open. And this is your ID versus BGS. Okay, so it's coming negative because uh, we have chosen the negative one. So what if I'll choose the positive from there? Okay, so this is minus ID versus VPS. So let me this time I'll choose the positive one. So if I choose this one, it will give me the positive ID. Okay. So, R not plus is selected this time. Earlier it was minus. So, just run this. This is ID versus VGF. So, that's how you can uh, create the schematic. And you can add various component into it. And you can define various uh, variables. From this window, you can define the variables. You can uh, decide your analysis. You can uh, you can specify the type of plot you want. So these many things you can do. So that's how you do a simple simulation in Cadence. So I think this is useful for the beginner. Thanks for watching.